let us get started with activity ratios before even we go ahead and speak about uh, the specific ratios let's quickly understand what are activity ratios activity ratios generally tell us how effective the company was in utilizing the asset as i said the activity ratios are also called as efficiency ratios so for example let's take one ratio and say you have asset turnover ratio something called asset turnover ratio so what does this ratio tell us this ratio tells let's say this ratio comes out to 2.5 so what does this ratio tell us is if you have 100 dollars worth of asset if you have 100 dollars worth of asset then you were able to generate sales 2.5 times worth of this 100 which is 250 so you were able to turn over your assets so you were able to utilize your assets two and a half times in the year you were able to utilize your assets two and a half times in a year and generate a sales that is equivalent to it that is the interpretation of turnover ratio so you are a so if this ratio is higher than 2.5 then it means with the same asset the company is generating more and more sales so the company may is more efficient if the company is less than 2.5 let's say 2 then it means with the same asset the company is generating lesser sales so the company is not as efficient as 2.5 asset turnover company right so this is the interpretation of turnover ratio that is how many times your asset has been turned over you how many times your asset ha asset has been turned over in a year to generate sales so an asset turnover ratio of uh, turnover of 2.5 means the company has generated sales that is 2.5 times the value of its assets right let's go ahead and calculate all these ratios one by one the first ratio we are going to deal with is inventory turnover ratio what is inventory turnover ratio the inventory turnover ratio will be given by cost of goods sold cost of goods sold by average inventory so what does this imply is let's say the company has cost of goods sold of 100 and average inventory of 25 so the company had a asset turnover ratio of 4.0 let's say another company it had cost of goods sold during the year of 100 and it had an average inventory of 50 now this company's inventory turnover ratio is 2 so what do we understand by company A and company B both the companies produced goods that costed these are cost of goods this company produced goods that costed 100 this company also produced goods that costed 100 however company A during the year maintained inventory worth of only 25 whereas this guy maintained higher inventory of 50 so what has eventually happened is for the for our generating for producing same amount of goods the goods that are worth of worth the same value this guy has logged in lesser money because remember if you are buying an inventory you are going to lock money so lower this number better it is so if this number goes down then it means you are blocking lesser money for generating same sales the company B instead has locked a higher money compared to company A to produce the same kind of goods this has resulted in an inefficiency right 
because the, for producing same what same a uh, value of goods this company has logged in more money so in general what we can generalize is any turnover ratio any turnover ratio higher the better higher the better so why we are saying this is most of the turnover ratio will have sales in the numerator and money blocked money blocked are invested money block are invested in the in generating this sales so obviously if you are a businessman you would want to block lesser money or invest lesser money to generate same kind of sales so for same sales for same sales you want to invest lesser money for same sales you want to invest lesser money so if your numerator remains the same and denominator decreases then your turnover ratio will go up that's why i said your turnover ratio should be ideally higher or in other words you can look at it this way also for same money invested for same money invested you want to generate more sales for same money invested you want to generate more sales in this case the numerator would increase and the denominator the money invested would remain constant in which case also the turnover ratio should increase that that's why i made a statement the turnover ratio higher the better